Hey everybody, Steve here doing a video and talking about it keeps popping up, Harold Camping 21 May and 21 October 2011 as being the rapture and the end of the world and according to the people who follow Harold Camping or at least his prophecies or those other people that believe in those prophecies as well say that on 21 May next year uh, there's going to be the rapture that there are going to be millions and millions of people dying each day from the 21 uh, May and each day until the end of the world on 21 October 2011. Um, a lot of people are coming up with this saying, hey, you know, this, is, this has got to be the truth. It's entirely biblical, even though uh, they used out-of-context scriptures and uh, additional revelations and, and that fuzzy uh, biblical math to come up with these dates. Um, and some of these people have been caught in false prophecies when they tried to prophesy uh, the coming of the Lord in the past. But, you know, they cover that up and they don't want to talk about that. They say things like, well, I forgot to carry the one, you know, my bad. Uh, you know, it's all good now. This is 100%. It's going to happen. Um, you know, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Rapture, 21 May, 2011. End of the world, uh, 21 October, 2011. Nothing. Everything's going to be destroyed. The entire universe, all of creation will be destroyed, and then will come Judgment Day. And of course, you know, there's the millions and millions of people that die each day after the rapture. Uh, this is an interesting situation because you got so many people out there that say, you know what, this is going to happen 100%. I, you know, I am 200% sure. Uh, God said it. Uh, the Bible says it. And uh, there is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But yet when I ask, you know, when I did the challenge, uh, still nobody will, will do the challenge. Uh, not even for a gentleman's bet of $1. Um, when I ask if nothing happens on 21 May, or if they're still here on 22 May, and if we're still here on 22 October, will these people repent? of following these false prophecies and following a false Christ and a false God and a deceptive spirit. Will they repent and ask forgiveness of people? No, not, not one person has said that they would repent. Not one person has said that they would contact me and, uh, you know, I would get to show them the real Jesus. You know, they, they, you know, they want to push past that, what Jesus said, you know, no man knows the day and the hour, only my Father in heaven. Um, Jesus said, if you look through his right, what he said in, in the writings in Scripture says that you can know the seasons, but never does he say uh, you're going to know the exact day, uh, because then you're looking for the day, you're not looking for Jesus. And uh, but anyway, that's neither here nor there, because now here's a second question that I have uh, for people like Witness uh, of the Truth, uh, Harold Camping, uh, Broken Twice '78, um, who's this other cat? Uh, Make Me '708. Uh, Jay Malton, um, and just all these other people, and asking them, okay, if you don't want to do the challenge, you don't want to do the gentleman's bet, uh, you've already made it abundantly clear that um, this is going to happen, and, and there is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's, it's you know, as sure as the sun rises, uh, the rapture is going to hit, and the world's going to be destroyed. So I presented this question. I said, well, here's the deal. Um, what are you doing with your money? If you have this information and you're 200% sure, without a shadow of a doubt, as sure as I'm sitting here and sure as you are watching this video, what are these people doing with their money? Like, um, you know, are you emptying, emptying out all your bank accounts? to preach the gospel, to make tracks, to uh, go out to the people in their neighborhood or their local towns, their malls, uh, the banks, the uh, stores, hitting everybody up in their neighborhood, starting with their house, going around their neighborhood, and just going out further and further and further and preaching the gospel. Um, are these people enter, emptying out their retirement accounts, their IRAs, their CDs, uh, everything are they selling everything that they own now to liquidate everything to have money so that way they can just continue to not be bothered with the things of the world but to preach the gospel until that day 21 may 
Matter of fact, if you think about it, since this is God's dates, you know, according to them, 21 May and 21 October, uh, or actually 21 May is when the rapture is going to be, why are these people going to, like, sell their house, their cars, uh, their clothes, their computers, their movie uh, collections, uh, anything of value so that they can go forth and preach the gospel? Matter of fact, why not even, because, uh, you know, it takes like about four months uh, before your house goes into foreclosure or, or, you know, usually three months before you go through uh, eviction proceedings. Why don't these people uh, not pay uh, their mortgage because what's the use of paying a mortgage or your utilities or anything else? Um, why not make it a zero end game where you sell everything of value? You spend all the money that you have to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to the lost, everybody in your, in your neighborhood, town, city, state. And so when 21 May comes, you have absolutely zero money. I, I ask these questions, and if these people are actually doing this, and you know the, the response that I've gotten, zero. Nothing, nada. No one has said that they uh, are going to empty out everything, that they're going to liquidate everything and, and go full force into preaching the gospel, which, you know, this book, Scripture, says that we're supposed to do. You know, we're supposed to be witnesses, you know, from our little place in, in, into the other ends of the earth. But not one, not one of these these people who believe in this date of the rapture being 21 May next year or the end of the world, 21 October, has said that they will do this. Now, don't you find that a little bit conflicting where, okay, this is going to happen 100%, but I'm not going to liquidate my money. No, that's, let, let's not get stupid here. That, 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 would be a little bit, that would be a little bit fanatical for me to to quit my job and not pay my bills and get rid of all my money and liquidate my retirement account, sell everything of value that I have, uh, you know, just have just a giant garage sale, open up your home, your apartment, let everybody take everything for money and then use that money to preach the gospel. No, oh, no, can't do that. You know, and then they'll, it, it's interesting because now one of these people will answer that question and say, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Why don't they document it here on YouTube? Uh, that would be an awesome testimony um, because then it's documented. You put a YouTube video up here and they get raptured, it's going to be a testament of Jesus Christ. Uh, of, you know, hey, guess who is right and guess who's wrong and you need to repent, you know, because the end of the world is coming. You know, if the rapture hits and then millions die every day uh, from 21 May until 21 October next year, what an awesome testimony that would be. You know, what an awesome testimony that on 20 May that you end up walking away and the only thing that you have is your Bible, the clothes on your back, and holding on to that testimony that the rapture is going to hit and Jesus is going to come and take you away. But not one. How is that, I mean, does anybody see that as kind of like, well, wait a second, if you believe all this, how come you're not... How come your actions aren't matching up with your words? You know, you're talking the talk, but you're not walking the talk. You know, I, I understand, you know, people get mad and not wanting to do the challenge and send a post data check to me for 22 May or 22 October, um, you know, because maybe I'll misuse the money because Lord knows, you know, I'm, according to them, I'm, I'm a heretic. I'm, you know, I'm just in this... Uh, for the money. So let's just take the money away from me and the situation and the challenge. Let's put it back on you guys. Document closing your bank accounts, preaching the gospel. See what's interesting is that not one of these people will have even mentioned the gospel of Jesus Christ to preach Christ crucified. Don't you find that a bit strange? Don't, you know, we, we, we ask that to some of these people, and Harold Camping says, well, the books have been closed since, you know, if 1988 and afterwards. I mean, you, no one else can get saved after 88. It's interesting because there's people who believe these dates, and they followed Harold, Harold Camping. But when I tell them what Harold Camping said, that after 1988, no one else is getting saved, and they got saved in like 93, 
Oh, 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 you should see the back pedaling then. It's amazing. Uh, so anyway, that's the question. If you believe in these dates and you were 100% sure, what are you doing with your money? If you're not liquidating everything and preaching the gospel, preaching Christ crucified, guess what? You're a fake. You're a phony. You're a con artist. You've been deceived. And at worst, uh, you're deceived and you're promoting this false prophecy because you're not, you're not walking the walk. You're doing a bunch of this, but you're not doing a bunch of this. Again, um, what we're going to see here next year on 22 May is a bunch of people that are going to be deceived. A bunch of people are going to be dejected, depressed. And they're either going to leave YouTube or they're going to make excuses because their, their favorite prophet, false prophet and false teacher will, will make an excuse and say, Well, God changed his mind last minute. You know, God, God relented. He repented and changed his mind. And, you know, remember when, when so-and-so in the Bible asked God, Well, if there's so many and if there's so many and less and less. And finally, finally God changed his mind. That's, that's what it's going to be. Um, look for that to come up. Um, but what's more important, remember that each and every one of these people that believe in these dates say it's going to happen, no ifs, ands, or buts about it, because it's been confirmed numerous times. Additional revelations, and, and uh, it's, it's a done deal. You know, you can set your watch by it. And that's what I'm doing. But put your money where your mouth is. If you follow the money, you can see who's dedicated or not. And that's what we're going to see. But, you know, Witness of the Truth, Broken 78, Jay Malton, and, uh, you know, just a bunch of other people that believe in this stuff um, are, are saying, you know, hey, well, this is what it's going to be, and blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, that, I don't know, where, where is, where, where is your, you know, what, what are you doing? Where's your money? If you're not playing a zero-sum game so that you end up with zero dollars, if you still have your house, your car, uh, all your bank accounts, your pension funds, uh, anything of value, hey, time to get rid of the TV, time to get rid of, uh, uh, you know, the guns and, and this and that, computers and, and clothes and uh, just everything in your household. You should have absolutely nothing in your house. You should not even have a house. Walk away, preach the gospel, and document that and put it up as a testimony of what is going to happen on 21 May. But like I said, nobody wants to do it. Question is, you're saying this, but you're not doing this. So what does that mean? <laughs> you know what I think it means. I think it, that, they're, that they're scared. I think there's a little bit of doubt in there. I think they're leaving, they're leaving some room for some leeway so that they can well, yeah, I believe it 150%, 110%, but I'm not going to cash in everything. That would be, like, stupid. See, that's, that's what it's all about. So anyway, now the challenge is document you sell, selling everything off, liquidating everything, and preaching the gospel of Christ crucified. It's not about spreading the prophecy. It's not about putting up websites about the day or the date because this says to preach the gospel of God, the message of Jesus Christ. Preach him, Christ crucified. But it's not. They don't. They preach the calendar date. Again, test everything against scripture. So anyway, um, yeah, put throwing that out there. Document it. Show show. Uh, buying tracks, show going throughout your neighborhood, closing bank accounts, not, I mean, zero-sum game. If you're in it to win it, do everything that you can. But if you're not, and if you just respond with like, oh, you're a heretic, and you're, you're crazy, and you hate, you're not a Christian, and blah, 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 all you're doing is this, and you're not doing this. So anyway... Uh, that's it for today's video. I'm uh, going to get back into reading God's Word and His Scripture on a daily basis. going to jump into that uh, back pretty soon uh, because we've got to have sound doctrine. And that only comes from the in-context whole counsel of God. So anyway, that's it. Take care. God bless. Peace.